Hi, welcome back to Emmy Reacts, where I'm watching Game of Thrones for the first time. Today we are on Season 7, Episode 5, titled East Watch. Ended on an intense kind of cliffhanger ending last time with Jamie falling into the water after he was battling with Daenerys and her dragons. Well, a lot of people were battling with uh, Daenerys and her dragons, but he was kind of like fading into the water, not knowing if he would like, he didn't, didn't seem to be trying to like swim to like save himself. So anxious to see what happened there or where we're going there. And just in general, that fight was cool slash crazy. I did not like that Bronn was trying to shoot the dragons with the spear thing that they had made. But lots of action in the last episode, but also a lot of other things to get caught up on. But most interested to see if we jump in and see what happened to Jamie falling into the water like that. Other things to catch up on. John found all that dragon glass at Dragonstone where he had been talking to Daenerys so he can make all the weapons and stuff that he needs to to make for everyone to fight the army of the dead and the white walkers that are coming hopefully he can make it back to the north then in winterfell where sansa and Arya made it back to last episode as well which was exciting and brands there but he's weird now i mean i get it he's like a three-eyed raven but he's like all wizened and i know everything and i have this bigger purpose which i'm still curious about what that what like brand's bigger purpose is but i really want a john and aria reunion so we'll see if we get that if he's gonna be heading back there anytime soon and what daenerys is gonna do now that she kind of it seemed like she was winning at the end with all her dragons fighting the Lannisters and the Tyrells and everything like, not the Tyrells. What's Sam's last name? The Tarly, the Tarly army and everything like that. But anyway, speaking of Sam, he cured Jorah of his grayscale, which is great. So Jorah's hopefully making his way back to Daenerys as well. And Sam's continuing his studies to become a maester. Also still trying to find other ways to help with the White Walker situation. I mean, he's the one who told John about the Dragonstone, but he was also trying to find other things that could be helpful to learn about for that. Cersei's still being serious. She has the backing of the Iron Bank behind her now because they're all excited that she won them or that she paid their money back and um, obviously all they care about is money and things like that. So things are going pretty well for her so far, which isn't great. We'll see where things continue to go. I think, I, I think, yeah, kind of the storylines are kind of merging with a lot of people now. So there's not like too much to get caught up on. Oh, Theon made it to Dragonstone also where like Daenerys and her people still are and where Jon still is and that was an awkward thing. But I'm hoping that he can find, they can make a, a plan to save uh, Yara who is still in her creepy evil uncle's clutches right now and she's not dead which is great but not in a good situation so i want to get her saved as well but yeah i think that's all of it so let's just dive into the episode forgot to mention and they showed in the um recap just now about the wildlings or the wildlings that are in the north with john right now were sent off to eastwick east something whatever the name of the, sh the episode is to go man that part of the wall and that's the name of the episode so i'm guessing it has something to, this episode will have something to do with that maybe like a battle or something or just like something going down there because we haven't seen them in a minute i also haven't seen the hound or just like caught up with him and what he's doing with the brotherhood either i still want him to meet up with aria at some point just for her to see that he didn't die everyone seems to think that the wall's defenses are like running low or like not as strong as they once were oh east watch that's what it was okay and they showed that on the map that's like by the sea okay and that's what okay that's why they showed that too i'm putting all together now <laughs> that the hound saw in the fire when he was looking at the magic fire with the brotherhood people that he saw the wall and the castle by the sea. Something's gonna go down there probably. Sorry, I feel like I was yelling because the intro music was really loud in my ears, but then I mute it <laughs> for when I edit it. Okay, Bronze. okay. Oh good, we're starting right up. With this. And Jamie's here. Why didn't he try to swim last time? Yeah, at least I'm mad at Jamie for some of the choices he's making right now, but I don't want him to die. Oh, they got far away from it, okay. Me. Also still mad at Bronn for trying to kill the dragons, even though I understand. He saved you too though, Jamie. Come on. What the fuck were you doing back there? Into the wall. He's trying to kill her, yeah. Killing her. You saw the dragon between <laughs> you and her. Yeah. It wasn't gonna work. Man, that would be so hard to swim in all that armor. Listen to me, cunt. <laughs> Till I get what I'm owed. A dragon doesn't get to kill Is that you. That why he really did you it? You don't get to kill you. <laughs> Just so he gets what he's owed. Okay. That was only one of them. She has two more. If she decides to use them, to really use them, you're fucked. I have to tell Cersei. She not really realized the magnitude of the Might dragon well jump problem. Back in that river. Yeah, I mean, 
they knew what happened or what the dragons did the last time. They've heard the stories. And so, I mean. Oh, oh, that's scary. Yeah, that's rough to see. Oh, is he looking for Jamie? Oh, oh, what a tough s spot to be in of like fighting your family like that. How's he supposed to know who it might, if any of them might be him? I feel so sad for Tyrion. That is a big, big, big dragon. What's she gonna do? Oh. I know what Cersei has told you. That I've come to destroy your cities, murder you and orphan your children. That's Cersei Lannister, not me. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to murder. I offer you a choice. Bend the knee and join me, or refuse and die. Ooh. Oof, those are the only options right now? Oh, good job, everybody. I mean, I guess, yeah, when you're, when you're facing death. Oh, not that many people bend. Oh, you're facing a dragon, though. <laughs> oh, the Tarleys are still there, though. What are they gonna do? You will not kneel. I already have a queen. Wow, he's staying My faithful. Sister, she wasn't your queen until recently, though, was she? Yeah. When she murdered your rightful queen, and destroyed House Tyrell for all time, so it appears your allegiances are somewhat flexible. <laughs> Come on, Say what Sam's you will dad. about your sister, she was born in Westeros, murdered your own father, and chose to support a foreign invader, one with no ties to this land. That's right, I don't like Sam's dad. An army of savages at her back. Yeah, okay, then you die. You will not trade your honor for your life. I respect that. Perhaps you could take the black, your grace. Whatever else he is, he is a true soldier. Why is he? He'd be invaluable at the war. Tyrion you cannot send me to the war. Nicer than I am. You are not my queen. So then he's advocating for her to kill him? Oh, Tyrion does not like that. You will have to kill me too. Wow. Step back and shut your mouth. You are the future of your house. This war has already wiped one great house from the world. Don't let it happen again. Bend the knee. Yeah. I will not. Oh, he's just as dumb as his dad. I know that there are tough choices in war, your but... Grace. Tyrion, your plans haven't been working out great. Stop beheading entire I'm not beheading any. What's she gonna do? Fire breathes them? I mean, there she's giving them a choice. Whoa! Also, doesn't Sam have sisters? Why can't they continue their family? Or a sister. Oh, I don't really want to see it though. It's not with his brother. Lord Randall Tarly. Dick and Charlie. Bend the knee. I, Daenerys of House Targaryen. Bend the knee. Breaker of chains and mother of Come on, Sentence you to die. Whoa! Dracarys. <gasps> well, that's an setting an example for everyone. Whoa, they just go up right to dust. Oh, yeah. Get down, everybody. Oh, sorry, Sam. Whoa. I'm on her side. Woohoo! Boy. You don't mess with Daenerys, that's for sure. Hee <laughs> hee. Why his stance made me laugh. How many men did we lose? What? Like most of them, right? Only armies that win wars. We have the Tyrell gold, we have the Iron Bank behind us, we can buy mercenaries. I just saw the Dothraki fight. Yeah, he's, he knows what they're up against. Army. They'll beat any army I've ever seen. A dragon. Burnt a thousand wagons. Kyber and Scorpion fired bulls bigger than you. They couldn't stop it. And she has three of them. Yeah. This isn't a war we can win. Cool, what are we doing? seeing some sense, at least. I sit on her father's throne, the father you betrayed and murdered. And in her mind, she's winning. And in Jamie's mind, she is too. What offer do you think she'd make? Maybe we can count on Tyrion to intercede on our behalf. He kind of is. By way of apology for murdering our father and son. Ah! Uh, he didn't. Yeah, Jamie knows now. You the crossbow, you saw his body. I'm not talking about father. Mm -hmm. Tyrion didn't kill Joffrey, had nothing to do with it. Still amazes me. It was Olenna. Mm -hmm. She confessed before she died. Is she gonna believe him? And you believed her. Seriously. You well, Lena, we'll do anything. Would you rather have seen your granddaughter married to Joffrey or Tommen? Which one would Marjorie have been better able to control? Which mm, one would have this made Olenna the yeah. true ruler of the Seven Kingdoms? She was telling the truth. Mm-hmm. Finally make her see? And stop going after Sansa, too? Or thinking it was Sansa had anything to do with it? I shouldn't have listened to you. What does that mean? She should have died screaming. Uh oh. She's dead. Mm. Hi, John. Man, dragons are so cool. Where are the other two? Why doesn't she let them, them fight? Whoa! Like, are they as big as him? They were catching, kept in the dungeon a lot longer than he was. Oh, she's on. Her car is climbed down. <laughs> so cool looking. <laughs> mm. 
hang on, can the dragon sense that he's a Targaryen? Is that why that he's they're letting him get so close? That's wild, if that's what's happening right now. Because she's probably like, what the hell? Why is he letting him do this? <gasps> it's another papa. <laughs> that's cool. Interesting. Oh, they blink sideways. They're like lizards. I guess it is a giant lizard. Huh. Interesting. That thing is huge! Oh, there's the other one. Or one of them. And the other boy. Okay, so they are pretty much as big. They're beautiful, aren't they? But yes, they are. <laughs> Just getting offended by Gorgeous that. Gorgeous beasts. <laughs> They're not beasts to me. They're my children. I would scoff at that, but I call Leo my son. You weren't so. gone long, and? And I have fewer enemies today than I did yesterday. Went well. When you first came here, Sir Davos said you took a knife in the heart for your people. She's still stuck on that. So Davos gets carried away. Doesn't want to lie. <gasps> Did Jorah make it? Yay! Yeah! Free of grayscale! <laughs> Hooray! And he immediately Your bends grace. the knee. Jon Snow, this is Sir Jorah Mormon. Oh, and you know his dad, too. I served with your father. Yeah. He was a great man. Oh, Jorah is looking, looks looking great. Yeah. I return to your service, my queen. Yay. So he's like if you'll have cured, cured, cured. He's not like it would be my honor. Gonna affect him at all? Aww, yay. They've been through so much, and Jorah has too. It is a little weird that he's like in love with her when he's like three times her age, but whatever. <laughs> These ravens have to do with Bran? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's get some more information about Bran and his stuff. Is he in a vision right now? Well, I know that he is because his eyes were turned off. Oh, he's seeing the wall. Does that mean that White Walkers, scary people are there? <gasps> yup, it sure does! I was kind of hoping that I was joking. Oh, man. Is this like what's literally right on the other side waiting for them right now? Man, I wish more people would believe John when he said that this is what's coming. Oh, my guy! Oh! Did he know? The Night King know ravens. that the rape that's with the ravens? We need to send ravens. Oh, uh, yeah. To just everyone? I put very little stock in it myself. I remember Walcom. A little timid, but a sharp mind. Yeah, uh, I wish people would yeah, believe them. The crippled boy claims to have seen dead men on the march beyond the wall. Oh! Thanks to the magical help of a raven with three eyes. Oh, I know. It, it sounds is a bit much. like a lot. Still, we ought to run and start. Yep. Sam, you tell him all you know. You know him. I led him through the wall years ago. I saw him go beyond the wall. Mm -hmm. He knows. Uh, Said to him. Somehow, a crippled boy survived for years beyond the wall when no one else could. Perhaps we ought to listen to what he has to say. Perhaps you need more scribing work. Uh. I sense a more detailed proposal is forthcoming. Yeah. Professor Slughorn gets it. If you tell people the threat is real, they'll believe it. If you advise all the laws to send their men north to hold the wall, they'll do it. They may find something that lets us defeat the army of the dead for good. Yeah. Great. Great plan. They're not gonna listen to him. It could be done. Are they? And this news could be authentic. What would be the point of making this up? It's also possible that this message is part of a ploy by the Dragon Queen. That's what they to think. To lure southern armies away from the lands they are currently defending. It does seem far more likely than magic birds talking to cripples. Archmaster, please. What it's a real. dumb reason, though. I've seen it. Yeah, he has no allegiance to the Dragon we Queen. We will write to Mr. at Winterfell for clarification. Okay. I promise you, we will get to the truth of it one way or another. At least he's not dismissing it outright. It's to mind work. Is he the one whose father and brother were just burnt alive? I'm afraid so. Oh, does he not know, though? I haven't had the heart to mm. tell him yet. She gave Tali a choice. Theros also upset about it? Against her. What else could she do? Not burn him alive alongside his son? Yeah, yes. I am her hand, not her head. I can't make her decisions for her. That's what I used to tell myself about her father. I found the traitors, but I wasn't the one burning them Oh, alive. that's why he's... Oh. I was only a purveyor of information. Because it's too similar to that? Oh, but it's, it's not... It's not the same. It's what I told myself when I watched them beg for mercy. He was just doing it for, I'm like, sport, wasn't he? It. And, like, not... And the pitch of their screams rose higher. I'm For not the right the one reasons? Doing it. And she's not mad. Oh, that's tough. Daenerys is not her father. Right. And she never will be, with the right counsel. She's saying do better to him. Yeah. I thought Arya was dead. Oh, though he, so he knows that she's there I at least. Bran was oh, dead. Oh, and the both of them. Oh, I still want to see the reunion. I'm happy for you. Yay! You don't look happy. Bran saw the Night King and his army marching towards Eastwatch. I need to go home. 
Yeah. You said you don't have enough men. We'll fight with the men we have, unless you'll join us. And give the country to Cersei. Perhaps not. Cersei thinks the army of the dead is nothing but a story. Yeah, everyone does. Maida, what if we prove her wrong? I don't think she'll come see the dead at my invitation. Yeah, how do you prove that? So bring the dead to her. What? Bring the I dead? I thought that was what we were trying to, to avoid. Yeah, King's Landing? You don't have to bring the whole army. Only one soldier. Is that possible? Benjen is kind of like a half guy, right? Could that work? Bring one of these things down to King's Landing or and like show a dead her one? the truth. Anything you bring back will be useless unless Cersei grants us an audience and is somehow convinced not to murder That's us the moment we set foot in the capital. A great point. The only person she listens to is Jamie. Oh, Tyrion could talk to Jamie. He might listen to me. Yeah. And how would you get into King's Landing? Can Davos have a way? I can smuggle you. Oh in. yeah, he used to be a smuggler. I'm warning you. I'm not a fighter. <laughs> You did, you did good, pretty but good in the all battle. nothing if we don't have one of these dead men. Yeah. Fair point. How do you propose to find one? Go back up to the wall and find and go find With one? With the Queen's permission, I'll go north and take one. Oh. Is he going to go to the East Watch? Ask me to find a cure so I could serve you. Please? The Free Folk will help us. They know the real north better than anyone. They won't follow Sir Jorah. They won't have to. Who are they going to follow? You can't lead a raid beyond the wall. You're not in the Night's Watch anymore. You're king in the north. I'm the only one here who's fought. Oh, John is going to go too. I haven't given you permission to leave. Does she need to? With respect, Your Grace, I don't need you. Yeah. Permission. I am a king. Whoop. Yeah, he hasn't bent the knee for her yet. I came here knowing that you could have your men behead me or your dragons burn me alive. I put my trust in you, a stranger, because I knew it was the best chance for my people, for all our people. <sighs> Love John. <laughs> He's the best. I'm asking you to trust in a stranger. Because it's our best chance. Yeah, she's she's charmed by him, I can tell. As we all are. And we all should be. And she needs him as an ally, so. The king in the north should stay in the north. Who's yelling about this? We guy? did not choose you to rule us. Are they so mad about that? But perhaps we should have. Oh, no, they're not. They're happy that she's there. They're gonna turn on John? The Knights of the Vale came here for you. Oh. Lady Stark. Interesting. You are very kind, my lord. Huh. But John is our king. He is doing what he thinks is best. <laughs> He's a mother and father's chambers. And? Nothing. Don't do that. What? Say what you mean. Already, like, bickering. <laughs> you always liked nice things. Made you feel better than everyone. Are you angry with me? They were insulting John. Mm. And you sat there and listened. I listened to their complaints, which is my about. responsibility as Lady of Winterfell. Their opinions are important to you. Fend them, and John loses his army. Not if they lose their heads first. Well, that would lose them the army. Winterfell didn't just fall into our hands. We took it back. I'm sure cutting off heads is very satisfying, but that's not the way you get people to work together. And if John doesn't come back, you'll need their support so you can work together. To give you what you really want. Okay, How can you even Arya, think such don't a thing? yeah antagonize her. You're thinking it right now. You don't want to be, but the thought just won't go away. They look so different <laughs> for being sisters, <laughs> which is fair. They it can happen. To do. But it's just funny, and they are so different as my lady people. Interesting. Yeah, they've all obviously are still very different. There's a path to the left that hugs the cliff. The guards hardly ever patrol it. Wow, they made it back there. I know they weren't that far. We don't have time for this. We should be preparing the city for. Oh, did he get a message to Bronn about it? reason for you to train. Why down here? Today might be the day I kill you by accident. You won't be swinging it at me. Oh yeah, okay. Oh good. He still likes Tyrion too. I thought I'd surprise you by hitting Costly Rock. But you were three steps ahead of me. Father would have been proud. Don't talk about father. Listen to oh. me. Oh. Told Bronn that if I ever saw you again, oh yeah, cut he's you pissed off. about that. I mean, you know what has. It'll take you a while with a sparring sword. <sighs> yeah, Bronn made sure that would be okay. You didn't like your dad, did you? He probably did. He was going to execute me. He knew I was innocent. Mm -hmm. He didn't hate me because of anything I did. He hated me because of what I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know it, Jamie. Come on. What did he think I chose? What do you want? Whew. Daenerys will win this war. You must know there's no way around that. You want Cersei to bend the knee. You can ask her yourself. I, I don't. Daenerys doesn't. Not right That's now, it. Anyway. Yeah, she does. <laughs> She has a more important request. Well, I think Daenerys is kind of taking the army of the dead a little bit more seriously now. What did Davos have to do in Flea Bottom? I know, isn't that where he's from? Is he have family there still or something? Wasn't sure I'd find you. Is this? I was wondering if he was going to be him. I couldn't remember if he had anything to do with him. Oh! Thought you might still be ruling. 
Hooray! I forget his name right now. Wow! So you know to come straight to the street of steel. What was his name? Anybody give you any trouble? Oh. Well, here I am, arming Lannisters, and I never get a second look. But you were right. Safest place for me was right under the Queen's nose. Yeah. Don't be so sure. Bad things are coming. Oh, now I remember him like hitting him with the weird thing me. with the Red Woman. The only thing you need to understand is... I'm ready. Yeah. Let's go. I've been getting ready. I never knew what for, but I've always known I'd know it when it oh, comes. Oh, I'm so happy to see him again. He looks good. You might want to bring one of those swords. Uh, okay. This. Okay. It's been... This I know. So long since we've seen him. I kind of, I'm trying to remember how he like left him. He like sent him off on this ship, right? To get him away. Keep your father's name to yourself. Uh oh. Who are these guys? I told you, Clovis. If we don't get out of here soon, you someone's there. gonna. Clovis. What about Tyrion? How's Tyrion no away? Friends. I promise. Still five gold dragons. <laughs> you joking? <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. A piece. Isn't that boat for? Does he need to wait for Tyrion? What's in the boat? Is he gonna have to kill them? What's his oh, what's his name? Not more gold. I like wine. Or oh, hands. Uh oh, I feel like there's gonna be kill. Come have a look. Fermented crab. <laughs> One bucket of this triples a brothel's earnings for the week. A man thinks he's done. He's ready to go back to his loving family. But that before he gets his prepared, breeches up, he's his smart. lady of the hour pops a tiny spoon of that into his mouth. Five minutes later, <laughs> he's back in the race. <laughs> have a taste. Fermented crab sounds disgusting. <laughs> I'd hurry to your favorite establishment. Or you'll put a hole in that chain mail. <laughs> oh good, Tyrion's coming. Oh, doesn't he need to hide? Uh-oh. Do we need to kill him now? Should we kill them now? Oi! Dwarf! We was looking for a dwarf with a scar like that a while back. Perhaps there's some arrangement? Arrangement. Oh, you guys are dead. You I'm so sorry. To pay us more than Queen Sir. Dwarf! <laughs> yep. Oh, bye-bye. Oh, ugh. Ah. Gen this is Gendry. Gendry, yeah. He'll do. Oh, that's right. Go, go, go. Oh, you guys were so close to getting away without being mm, bonked. Why are you here? I met with Tyrion. He's just gonna tell her outright? I guess that's kind of the point of guess what was happening. I don't know why I was surprised by that. Daenerys wants to meet. To discuss her surrender. She just won a great victory. Why would she want to truce now? Because an army of dead men is marching on the Seven Kingdoms. And Tyrion does not believe in that. Tyrion claims he'll have proof. Are you going to punish him? Tyrion. Bronn. No. He betrayed you. He set up a meeting without your knowledge or consent. That... Jamie's not you, seriously, no. Do you think anything of importance happens in this city without me knowing? You let it happen. Why? An accommodation with the Dragon Queen could be in our immediate interest. She has the numbers. If we want to beat her, we have to be clever. We have to fight her like father would have. She's going to be singing... Whatever stands in our way. ...such a different tune when she sees the dead We will defeat men. Ourselves, files for this. Who will you say is the father? You. Is she pregnant again? Is that what she meant by this? Whoa. That's that's okay. They're just gonna Only say it's his base. too now. There's. King's got a lot on his Don't mind. care about that anymore. He doesn't need to be thinking about harboring the bastard of a dead king. You don't have to worry. You're just Clovis. This is Prince Gendry, Your Grace. I'm Robert Baratheon's son. Bastard son. <laughs> He was meant to keep that to himself. <laughs> Our fathers trusted each other. Why shouldn't we? I saw your father once at Winterfell. I met yours in my shop. You did? Mm -hmm. You're a lot leaner. And you're a lot shorter. <laughs> well, that's because Ned's not his dad. I like that Gendry just came forward with it, though. Sir Davos told me where you're going, your grace, and why. Let me come with you. Ooh. Don't be a fool. You're not a soldier. No, but I'm a fighter. We could use the help. Look at Gendry coming back in. Say. Oh yeah, were they gonna sacrifice him completely and and Davos helped him get away? Is that what happened with Gendry the last we saw of him? It's been so long. I'm trying to remember. They're not how they ended. I've missed you, Mormon. Yeah, they had a nice journey together. Yeah, quite like you. <laughs> Is he happy that the grayscale? The coin the slaver gave me when Didn't I suggested him? he free us and pay us. Remember? It was supposed to last us the rest of our lives. Take it with you, but bring it back. Our queen needs you. Yeah, he survived a lot. He'll he'll be fine. If I don't return, at least you won't have to deal with the king in the north anymore. <laughs> I've grown used to him. He's easy to get along with, so that's I wish why. you good fortune in the wars to come, your grace. I wish us all good fortune in the wars to come, especially with the White Walkers. And the army of the dead. Do you know how many steps there are in the citadel? Oh, my friends. No. Where's Baby Sam? Guess how many windows are in the Great Sept of Baylor. She's learning a lot. Now that she can read all the books. None anymore. Yeah, that's true. 
That's true. This high sept on Maynard, he recorded everything. Maynard says here that he issued an annulment for Prince Ragger and remarried him to someone else at the same time in a secret ceremony in Dawn in the south. Of These maesters. What? Well, yeah, I want to hear more about Rhaegar's annulment and remarriage. That number was the steps. Yeah, Sam's a little stressed. <gasps> Baby Sam! Oh, is he going to steal more books? Good on you, Sam. Steal them all. Get them. How does he know what squirrel is what? There's, it looks like all just different paper. Is he going to get into trouble? What are we looking at? He was looking at it like he was like never going to return. As it was, I right? Is he like taking all this stuff and like bringing them back to the wall to help? That's kind of, I mean... Are you sure you want to do this? You always wanted to be a maester. He's completely stopping his training? I'm tired of reading about the achievements of better men. Okay. Is he going back to the wall with like all the information? <gasps> Sam! He's just taking action into his own hands, huh? And about what? What was that about? Baelish doing some shady stuff. Yep, he's talking to all of the heads of houses. Oh man, what are you doing, man? I feel like the Arya is like tracking him though. I found it, my lord. Uh, what? It took some searching. You are sure this is the only copy in Winterfell? Yes, my lord. Of what? Lady Stark thanks you for your service. Um, yeah, Arya, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and get whatever that was. Why is he pretending like it's something that, like, Sansa asked for? Or is it something that Sansa asked for? I don't think it was. Yes. Oh, she's knows how to pick locks. Cool. Those rooms look so cold. She doesn't even know what she's, what she's looking for besides, like, a little scroll. You tuck it under the bed. Or in the bed. Sam, I was I supposed to have read what that said? Because all I saw was steal his throne and Sansa. Oh, of course he was watching her. Was that a trick? Probably was a trick, right? Ah. Is this the wall? Is that the little place? East Watch? Isn't it your job to yeah. talk him out of stupid fucking ideas like this? <laughs> How many men did you bring? Not enough. The big woman? Hey. <laughs> We were hoping some of your men could help. You really want to go out there? You're not the only ones. Other people want to go out there? My scouts found them a mile south of the wall. Said they were on the way here. Who? You're the Hound. Oh! They found the Brotherhood and the Hound! Yeah! They want to go beyond the wall too. We don't want to go beyond the wall, we have to. Oh, he's gonna Our go with them? The Great War is don't coming. Don't trust him. Oh yeah, that's what hound, the Hound don't saw. Don't trust any of them. That's right. That's what the Hound saw in the fire. They're the Brotherhood. Oh, yeah, Gendry knows that. The last thing their lord told them to do was sell me to a red witch to be murdered. Thoras. Hmm, Jorah knows them? Zora Mormont. You're a fucking Mormont, like the last Lord Commander. He was my father. He hunted us like animals. Oh, uh, so. You returned a favor, as I recall. Blood, bad blood. Here we all are, at the same moment, heading in the same direction for the same reason. Yeah, they they our find there for the same reasons. reasons. It doesn't matter what we think our reasons are. Yeah, let them go with you. They're gonna help. But the Lord of Light. For fuck's the... sake, will you shut your hole? <laughs> are we coming with you or not? Yeah. Do you wanna know what we're doing? We're all on the same side. How can we be? It's a side we're against, yeah, against the army of the dead. Yee, she's getting bad out there. I wanna go out into that? How do they do that? Is Tormund going too? Yeah, looks... I feel like they should have some hats. Oof, that looks cold. Okay, so we didn't necessarily have a battle this time around, but things are a brewing. It looks so cold going out into the north like that. So how are they just gonna like get one like dead guy, dead white guy to bring back. How? What is their plan? Are there is there ever just one that they can get? I'm very interested to see how that plays out. Okay, going back through the episode, I love that Sam is taking matters into his own hand, own hands. Even though it did kind of sound like Professor Slughorn was gonna hear him out a little bit, maybe. Hopefully, he hasn't like dismissed the idea totally. But I like that Sam just like stole all the things, and it was he making it seemed like he was gonna make his way to, back to the wall to try to help with 
all the books and the scrolls and stuff that he stole. That's exciting. I love that we have Gendry back again. I, I like, didn't even remember, like, how his story had ended before with Davos and everything like that. But yeah, Davos had helped him escape the Red Woman and escape the sacrifice them him being a sacrifice and everything like that i love that he's back in the mix and helping helping them out i love that the brotherhood and the hound are going off behind beyond the wall with them that's gonna be cool the stuff in winterfell is interesting with sansa and kind of the people that are left in winterfell backing her a little bit more and clearly that's what baelish wants it seems like and it seems like baelish is trying to turn Arya against her more or like i don't know what he's doing i never understand what baelish is doing i know it's all to do stuff for baelish or like to serve baelish's needs but i don't know it's all very interesting i'm glad that daenerys is taking the threat of the army of the dead a little bit serious at least that she's like entertaining the idea of or that she entertained the idea of Tyrion getting a message to jamie to bring um you know that the whole plan of bringing evidence of the white walker to her and everything like that so that's good their reunion was was interesting i forgot that jamie would be why jamie was ultimately mad at Tyrion for killing their dad but again as Tyrion pointed out their dad was going to execute Tyrion knowing that he was innocent so he wasn't a good guy also the Daenerys using her dragon to burn the Tarleys was interesting because I can see that why the the parallels that they're drawing to the Mad King like her dad of what he when he did that and why it's bad but also I get that she has to stand her ground I don't know I'm, a, I'm still behind her and why she's doing what she's doing it's just interesting also crazy that Cersei is pregnant again there wasn't expecting that and that she just wants the world to know that it's Jamie's and she's just like not caring about that secret anymore that's weird or that's just like interesting that she's not caring about that anymore and just kind of saying whatever to that it'll be interesting to see how that plays out so we didn't really so i know that john found found all the dragon glass last episode so did, so did he mine it and take it all back and make a bunch of weapons with it and everything like that or are they taking that with them north of the wall and like or is he did he bring is he bringing that back to winterfell to have it made into weapons they kind of they showed us all that last episode but then like didn't say what they were doing with it I hope that they're bringing it back. But yeah, so interested to see what happens north of the wall. If we get any more kind of battles with the White Walkers or with the Army of the Dead, anything like that, and kind of where the fight for the throne goes. Definitely, I feel like we're moving so fast through these storylines, which is good. I feel like we're kind of like racing towards where the season or like the series is is going. So a lot happened this episode, but also like not a lot, if that makes sense. Yeah, but I'll be interested to see how it continues to play out. Two more episodes left. I think of the season because it's a shorter season and then next season's even shorter so um we're kind of barreling towards the end here i will be watching the house of the dragon for a season after this as well because i want to kind of jump right into that before the next for before season two of that airs um this summer so keep going with the game of thrones theme universe theme for a while longer still at least so that's exciting but yeah excited for the next few episodes and as always thanks for watching with me bye